G'day everyone. Singing the other day, um, something might be useful um, for a video, some information, um, is capacitor sizing with electrolytic and film capacitors, um, uh, mainly concerning here uh, for guitar pedals. Um, it's important to know the size of the um, capacitor when you're designing uh, your own board, but also when you're using somebody else's board as well. It's uh, often something that's kind of overlooked. Um, you, can, you can get away with not having to know these things, but you can't get away with not knowing these things, particularly if you're designing a board, because you need to make sure that the value of the capacitor that you're using can be can be obtained in a certain size, and I'll go into that in a moment. Now, this is just general information. The best place to go for um, to find out what um, sizing your capacitors are going to be will be the data sheet, because uh, every manufacturer varies. Um, also, the different types of capacitors um, uh, between the greeny film caps and the Panasonic XEQs will be a different size depending on the manufacturer as well. So there's a lot of different factors going in here. I'm going to show you EPCOS and Panasonic ECQs and some, um, some of the electrolytics as well. These are all the ones from my web store um, that I've got. So I've got a huge range here, which is good. I can show you um, how, the, how, the, how the dimensions change as you go up in um, size. So that leads me on to the next point. Um, usually between... Uh, 1 nanofarad and 100 nanofarad, the size will remain the same and I'll show you an example of that right now. So, so just ignore the um, trim leads on this one, but the one with the smaller leads is the 1 nanofarad and the one with the larger leads is the uh, 100 nanofarad and as you can see, they are, let me see if we can stand them up on their side, they are exactly the same dimensions. The manufacturer probably just uses the same casing for everything between one nanofarad and 100 nanofarad. It's just the same, um, the same casing. So that so they're all the same. You don't need to worry about the, the size increases or anything for those. But once you go over 100 nanofarad, that changes. Let's just have a look at the ECQ um, values first. Between uh, ECQ doesn't go, ECQ V doesn't go um, in the in the one nanofarad to 10 nanofarad range. It starts at 10 nanofarad and goes up. They don't have anything under 10 nanofarad, but I'll show you 10 nanofarad and 100 nanofarad comp comparison so you can see if there's any size difference. So this one is 10 nanofarad and this one is 100 nanofarad, and as you can see, they're also exactly the same size. So again, with the ECQ um, capacitors, you don't need to worry that the size increases be between any of the range between 10 and 100 nanofarad. So up to what we can get from this is the point I'm trying to make is up to 100 nanofarad with EPCOS. Um, and and ECQ capacitors, you don't need to worry about the size um, changing. It's always the same size, um, so you can forget about that. But once you go over 100 nanofarad, then the dimensions generally start to change. Um, so let's have a look at a few of the EPCOS over 100 nanofarad, or compared to 100 nanofarad. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass actually setting this up, but I thought it might be worthwhile just to show you a quick, uh, the, the quickest and most efficient way of, of demonstrating the size increase. So you've got 100 nanofarad at the top, 150 is pretty much the same size, I don't see much um, difference um, as far as thickness or height goes. Even 220 is pretty much the same height as well, hasn't really changed that much, but 330 is definitely thicker. It looks like it's probably about half a mil or maybe a mil thicker. The data sheet will tell you exactly how much it changes by. And then down the bottom here, you can see that not only is this one a mil thicker, uh, the 470 is a mil thicker, but it's also actually um, a mil, it looks like a mil maybe higher as well. Um, so maybe half a mil on the 330 and, and, um, and a mil both dimensions on the um, 470. Um, but the spacing hasn't, stay, hasn't changed at all. So you can still see that the spacing, the um, lead spacing is still 5 mil on all of these capacitors. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, I forgot also, I should show you, this is a 1 microfarad um, Kemet um, capacitor. And so you're getting up, you know, the high end, I guess you could say. Uh, you can Obviously, you can get bigger than 1 microfarad, but just as an example of how big they can get, that's a 1 microfarad. The white one, you can see that it is, uh, I think they're 7 or 8 mil high um, and they're quite thick too. You can see they're probably about 4, 3 or 4 mil um, thick as well. Uh, so, when, whenever, and, and 1 mil, uh, uh, 
One microfarad capacitors are used a lot in guitar pedals. So if you're build, if you're designing a guitar pedal um, or you're building one, just take into account that they're taller and they're fatter as well. You can obviously use other t types of capacitors. You don't have to use film capacitors. Don't really want to go into that in this video, but I'm just pointing out that for a, a film capacitor, if you're using a film capacitor, it's thicker and taller. Um, so yeah, just take that into account. And the same will go for the EPCOS as well. So let's have a look at those. Okay, so now if we take a look at the ECQ capacitors, you've got top one's 100 nanofarad and this one's 150. They're pretty much the same size, but 220 nanofarad is already getting fatter. It actually looks like it's um, the height's lower, but the width is fatter. You're probably not going to be able to see that in the video, but it does have about a mil thicker um, uh, thickness on that. And then this one gets bigger uh, on both dimensions. It's pretty much the same as a 220, but it's a little bit... Uh, it's probably about it's probably maybe a mil higher than um, the 100 nanofarad and maybe the same thickness as the 220 and then down the bottom this 560 one's getting quite chunky um, you can see it's quite thick um, so you know in comparison to the one microfarad to put them together it's a little bit it's a little bit lower um, you can see it's probably about two mil um, uh, in height lower and um, thickness I sorry I can't stand these bloody ECQ ones up because they're kind of rounded, they just flop over. Uh, it's probably about a mil, um, not as thick as the, um, sorry, my hand was in the way. Uh, yeah, a mil thinner than the um, than the one microfarad um, capacitor. And that's only 560. I haven't actually seen a one microfarad ECQ, but I'm imagining it, it would be at least the size of that Kemet. Um, so you can see there, there's a few, um, there's a few differences um, how, how the um, thickness and height ramps up as you go over 10 nanofarad didn't do it that much with EPCOS um, until we got up to 330 and 470. Um, but with um, yeah, with ECQ it starts at about 220. Um, so you need to check the data sheet to make sure that your layout accommodates for these changes in sizes, um, and that you know if you're putting it into a tight space or uh, you know a 1590A pedal or whatever that you've accounted for the extra height that these um, one microfarad um, capacitors take up. Let's have a look at some of these um, electrolytics that you can get. Obviously, there's um, the, the the capacitor of choice for um, guitar pedals uh, are low profile, and I mean that's just sort of a word that I, I think I don't know if I've come up with it or I've read it somewhere. Um, but low profile uh, basically just means it's short. It's like basically like sort of like a half height capacitor. I'll show you those next. So these are the general purpose use for anything sort of um, capacitor and. Um, and these, obviously, again, these are from my web store and they're quality brand um, capacitors. That's an Illinois um, capacitor, one microfarad. Um, and the, the, you'll notice also, I should point out, that the lead spacing, um, when you buy capacitors um, and when, you, when you're designing your own um, pedal, that the, um, the lead spacing changes. You can see that one on the, on the right there is... Um, is uh, uh, got the lead spacing is is further apart than the one on the on the left. Um, 100 nanofarad, uh, sorry, 100 microfarad tend to um tend to be a bit bigger. You can, you can get them in uh, 1.5 millimeter lead spacing, 2.5, 3.5. I think that's generally it's but generally between um, 1.5 and 3.5. But the reason that most PCB layouts don't really specify, I'll make sure you use this piece. Make sure you use this lead spacing or that lead spacing no one really points out what their what their um layouts require is because if you use a if you use the wrong spacing in their layer it, you just shove it in it doesn't really matter um so people usually don't really care too much about the lead spacing for that but they do care about the lead spacing for film um capacitors because you know you're not going to be able to it's going to be a bit more tricky to to fit a 5 millimeter um lead spaced film capacitor into a 7.5 millimeter or a 10 millimeter hole obviously or the other way around it's going to be a bit trickier so um, but with the electrolytics they're just all so close that no one really cares um, and the um, capacitors are bigger too um, you can get sort of um, the diameter changes between them can't think offhand what the diameters are um, I think five mil usually is, is sort of on the bigger size I can't, I've, I've gone blank I can't remember what what, I mean, I, I order them all day long for the web store. I can't remember what it is at the moment. But anyway, you can see the different the difference in size with those two as well. You've got the one microfarad on the left and the um, 100, uh, 
100 microfarad on the right, so they, 100 microfarad generally get bigger um, than the, the, than the um, lower values. They start to get a bit chunky around the 100 microfarad range. And just while we're on the topic of, um, of um, uh, electrolytics, if you want a cool looking electrolytic and, and a quality brand one, um, get the, um, the Panasonic um, uh, electrolytics, the blue ones there. They look pretty cool um, and obviously being Panasonic there, going to be uh, a reliable choice as well. Um, I don't remember the series though. Um, if you do, you can whack, it, whack a comment down in the, um, in the comments below. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, uh, they, look, they look really cool. And um, I'm going to show you the smallest capacity you've ever seen at the end of this video. Uh, I got them a while back. Um, uh, my, one of my suppliers owed me, well, it's kind of, I had to, had to patch up an error. So they sent me these expensive um, Panasonic capacitors and they are so small. They're just ridiculously tiny. I've never seen anything like it. I'll show you um, that at the end of the, um, at the, end of the video. Um, but next we'll just look at the low profile electrolytic um, capacitors. Let's see so you can compare them. I'll just chuck a couple on the page here so we can have a look. So that's a one microfarad um, low profile and here is a hundred microfarad low profile. They, they are about five mil in height. I think these are used in um, PCBs for uh, uh, PCI express cards and things like that in um, computers. Um, there's obviously a height restriction for um, for that application, so I think it's often they're often used in um, computer uh, computer electronics as well. But they work perfectly for guitar pedals because um, you know obviously when you're trying to fit them in a 1590A, you press for space, and they can get quite high. Um, I think the height of those ones are about um, uh, well one centimeter, and they're half a centimeter pretty much. So five mil and ten and ten mil. And you can see that the 100 microfarad is much fatter than the um, 1 microfarad. And in fact, the smallest capacitor that I've ever seen comment before, I was actually just looking at those 1 microfarads, and they're actually about that size, except they're 10 microfarad. Um, but I'll show, you, I'll show you one of those in a moment. Um, and the, the diameter, as I was saying, is quite fat. I, th I can't remember, again, I've gone blank, I can't remember what the, di the standard diameters are, but you can see it's actually... The 100 microfarad in the low profile has actually got a um, larger diameter than the 100 mi microfarad. D you just need space for capacitance. You know they've got to put they've got to put this stuff somewhere. I mean they've got obviously got techniques for getting more capacitance out of a smaller space with some of these other capacitors. Um, but once you start to get you know into the big end of of the of the scale, um, they just need space. So you, you end up with more diameter and less height, pretty much. Um, for those ones. So I'll just show you this last capacitor, um, this Panasonic one. It looks like that blue one, um, except it's about the same size, uh, similar size to that one micro, microfarad, that little, that little one. I'll just grab them. So these are 10 microfarad. And as you can see, they're not much bigger than that one microfarad. They're really small. Um, they, they kick ass. It's one, uh, a capacitor I'd really like to stock on the web store, but I'm pretty sure they're in, infinitely expensive, but I'll have to have a look into it and see putting it up there as an option for people that want them uh, because they're just so small. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, just a, a rundown of some spacing, capacitor spacing and um, you know the dimensions, how, how much room they take up. It's important to know these things, you know. Um, it's, it's good to know as a pedal builder. It's pretty much essential to know if you're going to design pedals because you have to, you have, when you pick a capacitor put on a PCB layout, you've got to pick a size and um, if, like, if a lot of my PCBs uh, for 1590A, so I account for this. If it's a 100 microfarad capacitor, I account, I use the fattest, uh, the fat end of the scale, um, just so that if you do use a low profile capacitor, it will fit. Um, you'll probably put one of these in, in its place and there'll be heaps of room left, but at least I've accounted for that and not the other way around. Otherwise, it's not going to fit if you use a fatter, fatter capacitor. So it's, it's a good idea to know this sort of stuff and maybe just order a few different capacitors just so you can see them in um, real life um, when, you, when, you, when you're designing your pedals. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Capacitors are a bit of a personal thing. Some people like one thing, some people like another. Um, you know, if you've got a preference, put it in the, put it in the um, comments below. I'd be interested to see what you guys use, um, if there's specific um, capacitors that you like or that you dislike. Um, yeah, let, let me know. And um, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.